Welcome to Victorian Gardens Cattery. Today is August, oh my, August the 23rd, uh, 2019. You are in the toddler room at Victorian Gardens Cattery where we have three, four, one, two, four litters. Um, right now you're looking at three litters. Um, we have um, hydrangea's litter. Hydrangea is right there. Um, she's a seal point Himalayan. And then inside the PlayStation coming out is Poppy. She's a new mom. And this is Poppy's <clears throat> little girl right here. She had, Poppy is a first time mom, and she had a premature litter. And so she didn't she had another mom nursing her babies because her nipples were so small that they couldn't latch on. But this is her <clears throat> calico right here, who is on day 30, has not been weaned yet. So I have another mom nurse, nursing her, and I have tried to get her to wean. It's a little tough. She doesn't want to wean, but um, I'm working on it. Um, Hydrangea has three babies here. Let me see if I can... Okay, so one of them is right down here. Uh, that's a black and white bicolor girl. They've been playing hard for a while. There's two over by the litter box playing. One is, ho that's Holly's baby right there, a chocolate point boy. Rambunctious. He's... Um, there's about a two-week difference between him and the other kittens. And um, they got, we were delayed in getting his, his PlayStations up. So they are having a ball with these PlayStations. He's, a, he's an absolute doll. He's a miracle baby, which means he comes from my little boy, little miracle, who is the sweetest little boy. So um, this is Holly, a miracle's baby boy. And he's seven weeks old now. So he's due a photo shoot, um, which we'll try to get to within the next week. He's been delayed. He's the oldest of all the kittens that I have right now. I actually have 19 kittens. So you're just seeing a small portion of them right now. Um, the little Himmy behind him. Okay, so that is another black and white bicolor girl right there. I'm kind of hoping in my heart the two black and white bicolor girls go to the same home. I don't know why, just something in me. So let's see here if I can get some close-ups. Now it's, I know it's kind of dark right now, but this room is very light, so the camera is making it look dark. We've got a lot of light streaming in. So this is, um, Hydrangea's little girl right here, and she's gorgeous. She's in the extreme face, and I don't know if I can get, they all do their first baths. They have not had them. I have been bu busy nursing babies and up 24 seven with the other babies, and I had another premature litter from a new mom. And so it's been, it's been extremely busy here. Let's see if I can get a good close up. This baby is gorgeous. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Gorgeous baby. This baby um, has the same personality as her mom. She's crying because she wants me to feed her milk. <laughs> she wants her milk replacement. Um, so that is... Uh-oh, she's got her, her finger stuck on the toy there. Let me go over and help her. I got a princess bed now, right there, and they were using it for quite a while. They were using that princess bed. I think they still do, but um, now that they got their PlayStations, you can see her walking on the food bowl over there. <laughs> so this is three litters right here. All rambunctious, all having a good time with their new PlayStations. 
Um, I still have a whole load of PlayStations to clean. So once I get those clean, I'll add them to this group. So we're doing the group, we're doing the kittens in stages, the litters in stages. So we're gonna have a second toddler room. And who you hear screaming in the background is Holly, who has been in heat now for over a week, probably a week and a half, coming on two weeks. She went into heat, she doesn't get out of heat. She's actually being spayed next week, so I have another whole week, over a week, to listen to the screaming. People wonder, you know, oh, breeding is so easy. <laughs> I have been up 24-7 for the last month. Breeding is not easy, and anybody who says that does not know what they're talking about. It is not easy. My body is just extremely exhausted. I mean, I'm not gonna, I put my babies first in place of my own health, and so if I have to get up every hour on the hour to feed, I do. So um, it's tough, and then you have screaming cats in heat. So we are going to be downsizing um, to a smaller group of girls. Um, so Holly is going to be um, spayed, as well as I think four others. So some of them, uh, I have one boy that's been neutered. So if you want to see the available adults I have, I'm just going to our available kittens page. If you want to see all the litters that we have, and as I said, we have 19 kittens, um, just go on to our available kittens page on our website at www.victoriangardenscattery.com. Also, if you ever have any questions about the kittens, just look in the description section or on any questions on any of my videos, just look in the description section under the video where it says see more just click that and you will get a full detail of every video so some people don't know that and I just wanted to let you know there's Poppy with her baby she's fighting her right now she's playing playing with her see her she's cleaning her and biting her <laughs> she's cleaning her and playing with her all at the same time I don't know why my camera doesn't want to focus so there we go. I think she she has an opportunity to be a really good mom, but because her nipples were so small, I had to take her away from her baby and bring her down to these babies who just ravaged her. <laughs> and now her nipples are pretty much normal. So she should be fine for her next litter if I can get her to settle with her kittens and feed them. I think she has a good opportunity to be a really good mom, so I'm going to give her another chance here. Um, she didn't seem to really like the nursing part, but that could have been because Hydrangea's babies really just, Hydrangea didn't have enough milk and, and they were really hungry and so they really latched on hard and I think it really bothered her. So I think next time if she starts with little newborns feeding them, she'll be fine. She's playing. She, she loves this part. She loves watching the babies and playing with them. Because she's, she's, she, the reason she had premature kittens is she was really young. I have one line that um, matures super, super early. And if you do not breed them after three heats, they can get pyometra, which is a deadly um, urine, uh, uterus infection. <coughs> So she is she was under one years old when she had her babies, and that's why they were premature. So I she had plenty of body weight and everything, and I think that's just what happened with her. But she's having fun with all the babies. And the babies have loved these PlayStations, so and they are weaned. Um, I am wetting down dry food for them. I was putting some wet food in with it, but um, now I'm going strictly wet it down dry and they're taking to it right off the bat. So 
We'll say goodbye for now. We've got more videos coming. My next video will be on Lark Larkspur and her gorgeous, gorgeous hemi litter. Um, and these are miracle babies again from my little miracle boy. Um, and they're absolutely gorgeous. They're in the same room also. So I'll do a separate video on them because there's five of them. <laughs> so we'll say goodbye for now from Victorian Gardens Cattery and the toddler room at the Cattery. Bye for now.